What's going on guys, your boy Coach Anthony. Okay, this is a video that needs to get done. I've done this before, but I'm doing it again because I think that this is something that needs to be explained, okay? If you want to know more about defense, of course, you can go check out the website, Defensive Principles 101. We go over all of this stuff. I got Fast Eddie Chambers on there. It's a fantastic course. Make sure you go check it out if you don't already have it. But I got none other than Marshall Schreiber, my champ, all right? One of the guys that I've built from the very beginning. And we're gonna go ahead and face me real quick. And it's the slip, slip roll versus the slip roll roll, okay? So you may see in boxing, a lot of guys will do this. Slip, slip, roll, right? And in theory, it makes sense. In theory, I gotta do the quotations because when you slip a jab, that's how you do it. When you slip a cross, that's how you do it. When you roll a hook, that's how you do it. If I throw the other side, that's how you do it, in theory. Now do it again, slip, boop. That's what could really happen, right? So that's not what we want to do in a real situation, all right? What I prefer you do is a slip, roll, roll, okay? Now, that's the right way to do it. Now, somebody may say, well, Coach Anthony, I've seen you do slip, slip, roll before, so what the hell are you talking about? Or I've seen good coaches do slip, slip, roll before, so what the hell are you talking about? I personally like the slip, slip, roll to teach a person the rotation of the body. I talk about this and build you from the ground up that not everything that we do in boxing is tactic related. A lot of the things that we do are training tools. So right now I'm using this as a training tool to get them to learn how to shift this way, to get them to learn how to shift this way, to get them to learn how to shift this way. Once he starts to get comfortable with those rotations of the, he knows how to bring the shoulder to the knee. He knows how to bring the shoulder to the you know, right here, we, we understand how to distribute the, the weight is what I'm really trying to say here. You know, in boxing, you got forward, back, left, right. And then we got to learn how to rotate, rotate, rotate. Very, very important that we learn how to rotate properly. So I use the slip, slip, roll more so as a training tool. But once we get into a situation where we're talking about real life boxing, right, he's going to slip, roll, roll, because you don't want to cross the center line. Now, what is the center line in boxing? The center line is exactly what it sounds like, straight down the line, right? You hear a lot of guys using that terminology, the center line, okay? We don't want to get caught in the middle. That is the number one thing in boxing. You do not want to get caught in the middle. So what do we do? We go under. We go under. We go under, right? For those of you guys who wanted to know the difference between a slip, slip roll and a slip row row, that is the answer, fully explained. Make sure you go to the website, coachanthonybox.com. Check, check out all the courses because we get deep, deep, deep into the explanation. And you already know. Bye.